Alrighty, folks, welcome to W7 Live. We are back. We are ready to kick off the 2021 22 season here in Michigan. Lots of good memories last year here, uh, Maddie Tingerthal. Oh, yeah. She's joining me today on the. Uh, on the broadcast, so happy to have you along, Maddie. Thank you. <laughs> it's gonna be the storm of Kiwani making the trip down, visiting the Indians of Michicot. First serve uh, coming up in about, probably about four minutes. We'll do national anthem, everything looks like in about two minutes and 45 seconds. But uh, Maddie, glad you're along with us. Uh, glad you could fill in. Yeah. Not really fill in, but you know, mm -hmm. Andy Scarta's coaching football, softball, a whole lots of things going on. But uh, glad to have you along. Thank we you. tried to get you out there for softball last year and just, the stars just never seemed to align. So <laughs> glad you're back, or not back, but glad you're here with us uh, for the inaugural volleyball uh, match here tonight. But uh, hey, Michigan comes into the year, but as I said, both teams, first match of the year, uh, as we will go back and take a quick peek at warmups there. First match of the year for both the Storm and uh, the Indians. Uh, Michicot played in the regular season last year. Uh, they went four and nine, two and one in conference play. They were three and four uh, before they had it into the COVID shutdown period. They came out of that, won two regional games. Uh, winners uh, three two over Reedsville in the regional semifinal, three two over Manitowoc Lutheran in the regional final, and then it ended up hosting uh, Wabano. Leona here in the sectional. So first regional championship. And as I look up at the banner here, volleyball, first one since 2008 yeah. for the Lady Indians last year. So they will look to build off of that. It's gonna be a different cast of characters here though in uh, Michicot. Big and cast change. Exactly. So we will uh, we'll introduce mm. you to them uh, as the night goes on. Kiwani on the other hand, they played in the alternative regular season last year. They went four and five, two and three in conference play, uh, and then lost in the opening round of regionals to Algoma, uh, zero three. So both teams looking to uh, expand upon last year. Talking to the Kiwani staff uh, leading up to this, Maddie, uh, several returning players, yep. but some players in different spots. So, you know, we'll, we'll introduce you to the Kiwani players as well as as we go along. Um, some lots of fun facts. I'm interested to see uh, who is it, uh, Bordellini, uh, her, Tony Bordellini, number two. Her brother, uh, it's a big name in Kiwani, offensive lineman uh, down there for the Wisconsin Badgers. Ooh. So, she makes the first big appearance uh, on the bright lights here before her brother does this year you know, on the Big Ten Network. She gets in on the W7 Network. Hey, we'll take a quick break. We'll come back with national anthems and starting lineups. And uh, we're gonna let Maddie jump right into it with some uh, production work. Yeah. So we'll be right back for national anthems and starting lineups. You're watching W7 Live.
Alrighty, we are back. It is not just in time volleyball. We are set, ready to go. Scoreboard is up for set. Maddie Tingerthal here to help me out with the uh, volleyball lingo. I tell you what though, Maddie, we got a student section white out for Michigan. We got Neon, stu neon uh, student section for Kiwani. It feels like high school sports is fully back and ready to go. So Kiwani had to first serve with that Taushik there, dumps one over. First point goes to Mitch Cott. Ashlyn Benin serving for Michicot now. Free ball over to Michicot, re retrieved by Ashlyn. Number 14, Emily Todd serving for Kiwani. There you go, see, you're already good to go. I'll just sit back, relax, do the production, <laughs> end of things. Kiwani sets up. Oh. So one thing to note here in the early going, uh, Maddie, is I'm not seeing the, he was a second team all-conference player for Michicot. Uh, it was Ali McCardle not out there. She is not out there in uh, in uniform tonight. So nope. that is an outside hating presence that they will uh, they will miss tonight. But they will turn to some youth hey, to fill they, in the spots. They got a freshman and a sophomore out there right now, so they're doing pretty good. Um, Christina Moyle just transferred from Manitowoc last basketball season to help us out a little bit and big Kaylee, time softball player too. Oh yeah, <laughs> helped us catching a lot. Down a couple of catchers, she stepped in. Hey, coming right at us. There you go, Maddie, nice job. <laughs> Kayla Linyox, a uh, freshman, stepping in for an outside hitter tonight. Filling the big shoes of Allie McArdle. So Alyssa Wesley on the serve. Out of bounds, barely. <laughs> Kylie Stant. Sand and Cora Nelson step in for Michicot. Another sophomore stepping in to serve. Cora Nelson, big time softball player. Ooh, Jenna. Great hustle. Roar. That was amazing. I'm pretty so that's sure that's Jenna, Jenna. Yeah, Jenna Roar. Yeah. She's a great softball player, too. Scary to. Scary to face. She's a good pitcher. Cora Nelson on the serve for Mishakat. Juani will set up. Mishakat sets up now. Dumped by Julie Keppel. A little bit of a miss hit. Free ball over. Here's. Ooh. Moyle in the net. That will. A little behind on the scoreboard. But it's now four to three in favor of the Storm. And it will be Natalie Stangle. She's another big time softball player for Kiwani. Ooh. Julie Keppel into the net for Mishkat. Natalie Stangle will serve again. Well, real quick, Maddie, we're getting good high praise from the boss man, Gary. Oh, that's good. So it says everything sounds good and looks good. Normally it's uh, so microphone and audio problems when we come up here to the cot, but we got her figured out. A couple Ooh. other. Stina Moyle with a nice jump serve. Point goes to Mishkat. Kimani was in the net. There you go. You're doing a great job, Maddie. I am going to. Take care of uh, one little housekeeping thing and I'll be right back, all right? You keep her going. Stina Moyle serves again for Mishkat. Ooh, it's coming at us. Jenna Roar overpasses. Moyle will serve again. 
puts us ahead on the scoreboard, six to five. That's a ace for Christina Moyle, served uh, Natalie Stengel over here. Another ace for Christina Moyle. Just picking on Natalie over here. All righty, what I miss? If I update the scoreboard, we got Michigan eight. Foot violation by Christina Moyle. Gives Kiwani the serve back. Number 14, Emily Todd steps in for Jenna Roar. I tell you what, I love the energy out of both teams. Nice. Bench, uh, bench energy is great here for Kiwani. Student section is into it. Pretty sure they don't know the student section is supposed to be behind us, but hey, I mean, but that's okay. We'll I got, they're it. over there. They're uh, <laughs> we'll take it. We got a little quiet space in the corner. Ashlyn Benning, no oh, overset by Cora. Leaves us tied on the scoreboard. Is it weird seeing Kelsey on the other side of things, Connor? <laughs> it, it was. She uh, she pulled in. She pulled behind me uh, on the way coming coming here. I looked in and she was wearing purple. I'm like, what's wow. going on? So the storm on a little bit of a run here. They were down eight to five. They now put four nice points together. Take the lead nine eight. Early going here in the first set. Number 14, Emily Todd in the net. Serves go, serve goes back to Michigan. Julie Keppel's serving. Lacey Toshek stepped in for Courtney Wood. Number one from Kiwani is uh, having herself a good hitting day so far. Ooh, great. nice little push over, a little push over the top. Finds the back line for Tauschik. Josie Wood and Kaylee Linyak step in the game for Kylie and Cora. So a whole new cast of characters pretty much oh, here uh, that uh, the trips to Michigan. We're going to have to get to know our loyal listeners. <laughs> the Kleimans, the Schmitz, the Garceaus, Kriegers are long, not, well, I don't want to say long gone, but they have headed off to college. It's so sad. It is, but exciting to get to, new, get to know some new kids and see everybody step up and fill into some nice roles. I can have a lift there by the Indians. By Josie Wood. Hey, it's okay. We'll get the point back. Okay. Got number seven, Ashley Berg, serving for Kiwani. Sophomore, three-sport athlete for her. Serve stays with Kiwani. Oh. Kiwani has the lead, 13 to 11. Ashley Bird still serving for Kiwani. Beautiful line, line serve by her. So we'll get a, yeah, quick timeout here for Michigan. We will 
take it with them. We will be right back. All right, we're back. 14-11 coming out of the timeout here in the, four, in the first set in favor of the Storm. Ashley Berg still serving. Nice set, Taushik elevates. Blocked at the net though. And a drop ball for Kiwani. You're gonna see a lot of that probably in the early going. How is that for you? I mean, you just got off the JV game. Yeah. Just the miscommunication, the still yeah. trying to figure things out, figure rotations out. Yeah, we started practice like two weeks ago and most of the girls are freshmen so they've never really done a rotation so it's just gonna take a little time to get used to it. Ooh. Yeah, I kind of set it over just behind uh, Gagke there and missed fires long on the back line. Good in instinct for Ashlyn Menon. She's up serving now. She's got a hard serve. And the point goes to Mishkat. So a nice time out there by the Indians. Down 14 and 11, come out, get to serve back, and pick up a two, two quick points to tie it up here. 14-14, Bennon still on the serve for the Indians. Coming right at the line there. I think we might have messed up earlier. I believe Kaylee Linyak's hitting weak side for Mishkat. Seems she's traveling over there. Well, that would be all you. In years past, she... she I've got the camera work and the electronics. <laughs> years past, she was a outside hitter, middle hitter. I've never seen her hit outside, but she's filling the shoes for wherever she can. She's doing a pretty good job of it, so... Yeah, so there you go, a little 5-0 run for the Indians out of their timeout, and the Storm will take one of their own. You've been wa you are watching... W7 Live from Mishakot. It's Indians. It's the Storm. It's W7. Alrighty, so coming out of the timeout, 16-14. Ashlyn Bennett serves it. So great use of the timeout for both teams there. Ashlyn Bennett serves it a little too far. Kiwani's got the serve now. Little back set there by Wood. Ooh. The set was a little far for number 13. Kai, ooh, I'm going to mess up that Yeah, one. Gadke. I mean, Gadke. They're, they're trying to set her there in the middle, and they've just missed her on the last two the last two sets. They've set a little bit behind her. Wood puts that one into the antenna, so serve back to the storm. Hey, I'm really proud of her, though. She, she filled that that spot last year for, on the bench to give us some energy. She's a great kid and this year when Maddie Doki retired, they didn't have a libero <laughs> and she stepped right into the role. Yeah, she Maddie Doki, uh, I think three year libero. Yeah. Two for sure, if not three. 
So 17-17, everything all squared up here. First to 25. Was that Wesley? Yep. Free ball over. Back to Kiwani. It's going to set up. Woo! Too far of a set. Pushka tips it over. Ooh. So now 18 17. Both teams kind of going on runs out of the timeout. Kiwani has the lead. Really been the story of this one here in their first set. Could we have a W7 Insta Classic on opening night, Maddie? A little <laughs> five setter. Oh, God. That one into the net. Tony. Oh, God. Loney? No. I don't know how to say that. Tony puts it in the net. I'm just going to stick with Bordellini. Bordellini. Oh, jeez. It's like well. Tortellini, but Bordellini. <laughs> Tony Bordellini. And people messed up my last name. That's easy. Cora Nelson serving for Michicot. A little too far. Natalie Stengel up serving for Kiwani. Kylie Sand just puts it out of bounds. It looked pretty good to me. Means Natalie Sangle serving again for Kiwani. Two point lead. Tip. Tip by Julie Keppel. And dumps by Julie Keppel. That was a nice tip right to the donut. That's uh, that's a sophomore for the Indians stepping up first varsity action. Now we got another sophomore serving for us, Christina Moyle. Ooh, -hoo! that was a good serve, hard serve, right to the face. Nice hustle to get that in the deep corner. Sent over, nice and high. Kiwani gets all set up, and ooh, Christina Moyle got her on the dig. Libero sets for Mishikot, sets it over. Oh, that was nice amazing. job. Nice dump over there from Kiwani. It's amazing. It a really good play. Shannon Rohr steps out. Didn't catch who went in for her, though. Nice. Ace for Tony there. Mishkat takes a timeout. Kiwani's winning 22 to 19. So we will take the timeout with him and we'll be right back. Kiwani just sent it over, and whistle's called. She did not wait for the whistle. It's going to be a jump ball. Replay. Replay. Kiwani sends it over, and tip by Cora Nelson. Kiwani gets all set up, and blocked. But the point goes to Kiwani. Right. Serve by Kiwani and she's got an ace. Slid off her slid off of Courtney Wood's arms the wrong way and just went sailing. Match point here. Out of bounds. 
Mishka gets the point. So Mishka go on a little, I mean, they're gonna need four, four or five points here, probably to extend this out, at least four. Julie Keppel sends it over short and tipped over by Lacey Tauschek. Mishkat sets it up and Ashlyn Benin takes the swing and Kiwani's getting it back up. And a nice hit by, uh, I believe, number one, McKenzie. So, Maddie, that wraps up set number one. Thoughts there this, on that one? I think we're going to go into five matches. <laughs> we're going five matches. You know, I was talking to Coach Dangle uh, from the Storm beforehand, and she said if, they're, if they can get their passing under control, they feel confident. Um, and the passing in the first half of that kind of was, I don't want to say sketchy, but they're still kind of figuring things out. Yeah. They're passing the ball definitely a lot better down the, uh, down the stretch there. So we will take a break, and we will be back with the second set for you. You're watching Kiwani and Mishikot opening night at W7 Live Volleyball from the Cots. Maddie Tingerthal, Counter the Boys. We'll be back. What does W7 stand for? How did you come up with that name? We get asked this all the time. So um, several years ago, my wife uh, put together a, uh, a Christmas gift for all of, our, all of our kids and for her and I. And um, we opened them up on Christmas morning, and they were all T-shirts that said W7 on it. And I said, what's W7? She said, well, W, our last name's Wibberman, so that's mm -hmm. W. Seven, there's five kids, and the two of us okay. make seven. And so we're W7. And so... Once I started doing this, we didn't have a name at first, uh, and people were asking me, well, what, what do you go by? And I said, well, I'm just Gary. And they're like, well, do you have like a company name? And so I got to thinking, like, we really need some sort of company mm -hmm. name. And uh, I actually went and asked her permission. You know, would, I, would you give me permission to use W7 as the name of our company? And uh, she, she agreed, readily agreed, and uh, that's, that's how we came to be, and that's who we are. All right, we're back live here for the second set. Josie Woods got the first serve. Kiwani took the first one. I don't write the score down, but it was 25-18, I believe. I thought it was 20. 25-20? Maybe. That's right, they did get to 20. I remember that. Ashlyn Menon hits it into the net. First point goes to Kiwani. Number seven, Ashley Berg up to serve for Kiwani. Mishikot sets it up and hit by Lacey Tauschek. Blockers can't recover from it. Ashlyn Bennon up to serve. Just out of bounds. Libero thought about it. It was pretty close. Serve goes back to Kiwani.
Mishkat sets it up and into the net for Christina Moya. So Kiwani kind of carries that momentum from the first set into the second. Pivotal second set here for the Indians. And into the net for Christina Moyle again. Eh, she'll get the hang of it. Not worried. Serve still with Kiwani. Coach Garceau walking mm -hmm. or, uh, down in uh, Florida said, played a little ad and he said that Top Gun is the best W7 ad ever. <laughs> there she goes. Nice hit by Christina Moyle. Excellent dig out for by Kiwani. Yes, amazing. Ah, nice little rally there, but goes the way of the storm. Libero for Kiwani had a really good time tracing the ball down. Helped him get the ball back over the net. Mishkat puts it up in and in a roll into the net for us, for Mishkat. Timeout, Mishkat. Well, Maddie, that gives us a quick opportunity to jump into some uh, fun facts on the kids. Uh, yeah. Sent out a questionnaire this year, you know, so we can talk about both teams a little bit more. Uh, on the serve, I'm, I'm just going to jump right out there and talk about it. Number 14, Emily Todd. Uh, I, can you, first concert, Justin Bieber. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yep, Bieber fever. Uh, Bieber fever for uh, Emily Todd there, so amazing. I, what, what I want to know, though, is I'm going to have to ask her after the match, is number 12, is it number 12? Yeah, General Roar. I ran out of time. I was going to bring the Jimmy John sub, but she claims that she can eat a 16-inch Jimmy John sub. God, that poor girl will in throw under up eight on minutes. The court. I think I think she <laughs> said her personal best was like seven seven minutes and 43 seconds. Yeah. So we're gonna have to. I might have to make a trip up to Kiwani, do another game, and and have a Jimmy John's challenge. Yikes! But out would. of the out of the timeout. Two hits on Benin. Josie Wood. Was actually. Josie Wood? Yep. See, that's why we brought you along. <laughs> oh, yikes. Mishkat needs to get this under control a little bit. Emily Todd still serving for Kiwani. Goes by the nickname. Hotty too hotty. <laughs> Tony sends the ball over the net. Great hit over. And I will say she is hot on the serve right now. Number one, Madison Gorzlanchek stepped in the game for Mishka for Ashlyn Benin. Six in first, a row here for Emily. First varsity match for her, so serves out of bounds. And there you go. There's the announcer's jinx. I just yeah. said she is hot on the serve, and she puts one... Sometimes in volleyball, that's, line. A, that's all you got to do is sub a player in and the, that girl will mess up serving. I, I've had it happen to me before. It's not fun. <laughs> Ooh, good serve by Courtney Wood. Jenna Rohr shanks it just a little bit. Rolled off her arms the wrong way, which is good. Jenna Rohr never been to a concert before. And then Courtney serves it out of bounds and the ball goes back to Kiwani. Somebody in Kiwani, some one of Jenna's friends, she'll take you to Jimmy John's. You take, you know, and you take her to a concert. There you go. We got a <laughs> we got a whole night set up. Jimmy John's pre-concert meal. Sounds pretty good to me. Yeah, we get a sponsorship. Christina Moyle had a good hit for Mishkat. Kiwani tips in, and goes out of bounds. That'll be point for Mishkat. Kylie Sands steps in for Josie Wood, and Cora Nelson steps in for Kaylee Lignac for the Indians. Serve goes to the Indians, Cora Nelson. Really impressed with Cora down the stretch in the softball season. And it's in, right in the line. <laughs> right on the line. Uh, Coach Stangle. <laughs> Help, help the line judge there, point it in. Unfortunately, that one's in. 
Hey, at least she's being fair. Point Mishakot. <laughs> Ooh. Another point for Mishkat. Lauren Nelson will keep on her streak right. of serving. Knock on wood. <laughs> there we go. Julie Keppel send it out of bounds for Mishkat. And it's Kiwani serve. Um Natalie Sangal steps in for Kylie Getke. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. <laughs> Good serve for Natalie Sangal. Had nice rotation. Uh, Gorzlanchek tried to step in front of that one, just spun off the forearms. Julie Keppel tries to recover for... Gorzlanchik and Sands hits. Sir's still with Kiwani. There you go. Madison gets a nice pass and a nice tip from Kylie Sand. Ishkat sends a free ball over for Kiwani. To get all set up. We got a good rally here going. Nice hit from Christina Moyle, and Kiwani cannot recover. Great hustle back there, almost into Great the student hustle. section there yeah. for, for I'm, a Wesley. I'm sure those boys would have loved to pass it back in. Oh, boy. See the guy going on one's back? You see that? Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Moyle back on the serve. Kiwani free balls it over. Mishkat gets all set up, and a hit from Julie Keppel. Keppel, Keppel puts it away. She gets that fired up, uh, fired up look face. I tell you what, yeah. When she gets it going, she gets it going. <laughs> Mishkat making the way back. Christina Moyle still serving. Beautiful set by Natalie Stangle there. A miss hit there by Bordellini. And now Mishakot, a little bit of a run, climbing their way back into the match, 13-9. Here in the second set. You know what's great about this game? Even if it does go into five matches, I don't have to go to school tomorrow. <laughs> I gotta go to work tomorrow though, Maddie. Like, <laughs> I mean, after the game, I still got like two hours of Packing up and yeah. extra work, you know, and then we gotta be back at the shop at six o'clock in the morning. 14-9, Bordellini on the serve for the storm. Ashlyn Bennon, nice hit from her right to the corner. Kiwani gets it back over. Mishkat free balls it. Kiwani gets all set up in a nice hit back row by Tony. A little bit of a miss hit, grabs the net. Redirects the ball in favor of the Storm. Nice back set. Ooh. McKenzie just sends it out of bounds. Mishkat serve. That was a great little back set there by Stangle. That's great. Lacey Toshek steps in for Courtney Wood for the Indians. Julie Keppel on the serve. Great back set by Ashley Berg. Now we have Kiwani serving. Hey, I, I love this. Ashley Berg, she can win an Olympic medal in anything besides like a sport. <laughs> Never being on time for anything. Yeah. Uh, that sounds like Garceau's there. <laughs> oh, shots fired. <laughs> Maddie, bring the track shoes first day of practice. <laughs> Mike, you didn't hear shots that. Shots fired. I wasn't, wasn't talking the... about you. I was talking about your daughter. It's okay. Down on the beach. <laughs> Down on the beach. <laughs> Relaxing. 
Oh, there's hard serve. Tina Moyo. Oh, wow. One-handed over the net. <laughs> Just goes over. And those are those hustle points, 50-50 balls. I tell you what, they Sophie. can change a match around. Sophie Smindle goes into the game. Certainly oh. this set. Uh, see if the Indians can capitalize. Don't know if I'm saying that right, but we're going to stick yeah, with so it. So it'll be Josie Wood now on the serve for the Indians. Kiwani gets all set up and a back row hit from them. Just out of bounds. Josie Wood has been to a couple concerts before. More than her twin sister, Jason Aldean, Jake Owens, and Thomas Rhett. So she's got the country music on on the oh, car yeah. ride to the gym. Wonder how her twin sister Courtney feels about that. Courtney, Courtney's only been to one. Hmm. Fun fact about Josie, she can put her feet behind her head. Didn't know that myself. See, Maddie, that's why you got it. That's why you got to get on the W7 team. <laughs> She's still serving over there for the Indians. And see who punched that ball over there for the Storm. Was that number nine, uh, Alyssa Wesley, I think. Serve goes back to Kiwani. Mishka had a tough time getting the ball off the floor. Alyssa, I don't know who's serving. Ashley Berg is serving for the Storm. Just served a nice ace. Right to the setter spot. She will continue serving for the Storm. Nice pass ahead there by number seven, but. Emily Todd shanks a free ball over into the net. Serve goes back to Mishkot. So 19-15 here, getting deep into the second set. Mishkot's gonna have to make a little bit of a run. Great hit by Kiwani. Just came off. Hey, oh, coming at us here. Ball's coming at us. Oh boy. Uh, nothing I can do about that. Sorry. <laughs> Ball rolled off of Benin's arms the wrong way and just went into the corner and no one was. Mishkak gets all set up and Lacey Tauschak has a nice hit. Um. Sophie Smindle had Tau a nice Shank with there. the rejection at the net. It'll be 2016, Mishikot. Sophie's with doing the a serve, down four. Sophie's doing a great job over here for the storm, recovering from many hits and stuff like that. She's really doing a great job over there. Tina Moyo for a nice hit. Jenna Orr had a great, great um, pass up for it, though. And the ball goes over for Mishkat by Julie Keppel. And Kiwani sends it back over hard. Mishkat free balls it. Kiwani gets all set up and blocked. Blocked by Julie Keppel. It's a great hit by... Tony Bordellini, though. Back-to-back -back blocks for the Indians. One by Tauschik to gain possession and the serve. And Hart another there by, uh, who was that? That was... Courtney Wood serving. <laughs> Alyssa Wesley hits it out of bounds. Mishkat's creeping back in. So here's the run we talked about, 2018. Mishikot on the serve. And number 13, Kylie Getke 
Hits it out of bounds. Right. And Put your coaching hat on here, yeah. Maddie. 2020, do we get a timeout? No, we're going to get one right here. From Kiwani. 2019. The yes. Indians are climbing back into this one after trailing for pretty much the entire set. They were down early, six to six nothing or six one. Sometimes it's it's a timeout or a substitute that throws the server off and gets you back into that game. So that's small, smart call by Kelsey. Yeah, and here we are now, 2019. The Indians have are on the serve on a bit of a uh, it was a four point run here. Do you do shoes of the game for volleyball? Well, we certainly could. We could look at shoes of the game. I mean, whatever whatever our guest analyst wants, Matt. If you want uh, shoes of the game, we do shoes of the game. I'm pretty sure it's that. Um, I'm pretty sure Kiwani had a fill-in line judge over there. His shoes are amazing. I think I think <laughs> right. that wins shoes of the game over there. <laughs> <laughs> Might get to see the shoes of the game, Maddie. Let me ask you this. I know it's summertime, so maybe we're not reading yet. But I'm surprised. Like, so one of our questions is the current read. Like, nobody's reading anything right now. Oh, no. That's well, not that. Christina Moyle's learning how to drive, so she must be looking at getting her driver's license <laughs> oh my pretty gosh. soon. She has put off driver's ed for as long as you can tell. But It's bad. So there it is, 2020, things all knotted up. Late Courtney here Ward in the second great set. Ace. Great ace, right? Nice serve to um, Jenna Rohr over there. Push over by the storm. Mishkak gets all set up. Kayla Linia takes a right swing at us. and right at us. Woo! That one is in. Right, right on the back headset. line. <laughs> Probably heard the pop on the broadcast. Yeah, it came right on my headset. <laughs> that was a great swing right into the corner. It was funny, some of the Kiwani fans are saying that's out, but Kelsey even herself pointed that it was down uh, and in. It's the student section. Yeah. Mishkak's making a run back. Kelsey calls another timeout. So this will be the second timeout. We will go into the timeout with them. Well, hey, coming up, uh, I believe it is on the 31st. It will be GTV makes its official return back to W7, Maddie, as Germantown heads to Brookfield Central for a little volleyball action. That would be, I believe, I don't know if Gary's going to join them, but I know Ed and Ron will be down there on the call at Brookfield Central as Germantown opens up GMC play. Coming out of that timeout, Courtney Wood's still serving for Mishkat. Mishkat's got the lead, 22-20. Number seven, Ashley Burke had a great thought in mind to just push it over and where we weren't, where Mishkat wasn't, and just hit out of bounds. This is a pivotal point right here if you're the storm. You need to get possession back. But it is a ace. Tony Bordellini shanks the serve into the crowd, and now we're at game point here for the Indians. I told you it's gonna go into five matches. <laughs> Oh. Well, oh. there's the announcer's jink from Tingerfall. My bad. Hey, it's okay. We so. got Alyssa Wesley serving for the storm over here. Still a match point here. Serves it into the net, and Mishkat wins that match. So 25. 21. 21 in favor of Mishikot, and that will knock things all up. One set apiece for the uh. Storm and the Indians. Hey, we're gonna take a quick break. We will be right back with you in approximately two and a half minutes for <laughs> set number three, as either the Indians or the Storm look to take control of the match. You've been watching W7 Live.
All right, Maddie. We're back. We are back. Um, that was definitely a game of runs for, or I should say a, well, it was a game of <laughs> runs uh, for both teams. Mishakot fell behind early, 7-1. to one. It was kind of back and forth in the middle, and then it was Mishakot with a 9 nothing run that basically closed things out. We to take set number two, 25-21. So Kiwani took the first one, 25-20. Mishakat bounces back in the second, 25-21. We got Ashley Berg serving for the Storm for the first point. AC Tauschak pushes it over and out of bounds. First point goes to Kiwani. One quick correction, Maddie, I got to make. Oh it's uh, Michelle Wenzel and Gary Whipperman will be on the call down at Brookfield Central. So Michelle Wenzel, she did our did the Michigan State Championship softball game on the NFHS network for the WIA. So one of the best in the business. Storm free balls it over and Mishka gets all set up. Ashlyn Bennon takes a swing and gets blocked by the Storm. So this one starts out a little bit like the like the last one there. Kiwani out to a three nothing lead. Couple misplays by the Indians. See if they can get things turned around a little bit earlier. Ashley Burke still serving for the Storm. Kaylee Lignac takes a swing from the outside. And now from the weak side, just inbounds. Nice. Hey, that one's right at us. Yeah, she keeps hitting us. I got it here. Knocked my headset off last time. What the heck? Uh -uh. <laughs> Taking aim at you, Maddie. They're yeah. not liking you over here. <laughs> We certainly are loving you over here, though. We appreciate you. Double hit on Kiwani. Bringing the volleyball knowledge. Ashlyn Bennett on the serve for Mishkat. Ooh! Moyle. Boy, the ball just comes over the net, and Moyle gets up and smacks it right back down the line. Beautiful hit. First time varsity over there. Is her sister still over at Lincoln? Yeah, she's actually Finish in the student section. Now she's in the student section, but she is, oh, sister she's, is a she's senior. She's over here, never oh, mind. She's by her dad, by yeah. By her parents. But she still came to support Michigan. <laughs> does her sister play volleyball over um, at Lincoln? She did. She doesn't play, she didn't play this year, but okay. she has played in years past. Okay, I see, because we got Lincoln on the schedule this year, so oh, we boy. get both of them on the. Get both Moyle sisters. takes another smack <laughs> at Kiwani and just glides off the hand of Tony Bordellini over here. Take no prisoners right now for Moyle. Yeah. Also goes by the name of Tina. Tina. She could go pro in tubing. I was out on the lake with her the other day and she insisted that she was on the tube by herself and held on with a, one hand and was just riding there. Well, there you go, yeah. Olympic gold medal for Tina, <laughs> a.k.a. Christina Moyle. I know her mom's listening right now from up in Michigan. Up and, up and over. <laughs> Kiwani's got the serve. We're tied. Also got uh, Melissa checking in from Minnesota, watching oh, her niece, Cora Nelson. They checked in during that softball run yeah, many Cora. a times. We we did not. We only had one setter this year. That was the senior. I knew the setter spot was up in the air for a while, and Cora was on JV last year and kind of got molded into that role for this year. She's doing great. So Emily Todd on the serve for the Storm. She gets it over. Dang. Josie Wood lifts. Hey, Gabby, what's going on? You're bringing your sister Gatorades? Where's my Gatorades? Yeah, where's my candy I asked for? <laughs> Gabby, I text, mm, geez. All those years coaching in basketball, Gabby, and I can't get a Gatorade. Okay, Yeah. okay. Gabby, go get him a Gatorade. 
All right, we'll get back to some action Ooh. here. Christina Moyo hits it into the net. Kiwani's, oh, it's still Kiwani serve. Um, Emily Todd's been serving for a while now. This would be her fourth. Yeah, well, in volleyball, that's a while because you usually rally for a bunch. Kaylee Linyak hits it, hits it into the block, and Mishkat recovers. Number 13, Kylie Gecki tips it over into the donut. Mishkat recovers from that, and Cam Wesley puts that one away. That's amazing. They just had no mercy on that run. Big smile there from her. She's a senior. You got it. No mercy for senior year. You got to put it all into it. Give it your all. So Hi. ten to five, and the Michigan timeout. We will take it with them. You are watching Michigan and Kiwani on W7 Live. Emily right. Todd over here. Serving. All righty, we are back. Todd back on the serve. <laughs> Nicknamed Toddy Too Hotty. She has, certainly has been hot on the serve last four or five. Olympic gold medalist in Just Dance. And a little bit of miscommunication by the storm will take the serve back over to Michicot. Courtney Wood on the serve. Ooh, her favorite subject is math. Not for me. I I don't get the math lovers out there. Christina Moyle has a nice swing inbounds. Tips off of Jenna Rohr. Ooh. Ball rolled out to the Commons area. So point Michicot there. They Initially ruled it a side out, but the officials looked at each other and said it was tipped. Oh, there's some discussion going on about Jenna tipping it or not tipping it. And the uh, ref is going to stick with the line judge. So, Courtney Wood on the serve again. It's a line judge that said it was tipped, and. Uh, Kiwani line judge, so. Mishkat goes up for the block and hits it out of bounds. We got Alyssa Wesley on the serve for Kiwani. Lefty Wesley is. Kaylee Linyak free balls it out of bounds. Serve six with Kiwani. Callie Krieger showing up. Retired Michigan Indian showing up for the game. Comes that one in. She was on the list to be over here on the broadcast. Wow. And something about work, you know, trying to make money, pay for college. I <laughs> guess. I guess. I mean. Our we, rates aren't the best. We can't compete. As inbounds. And then all so the way. So 12 9, little, <laughs> little <laughs> mish confusion initially there by the Indians. If it was in or out. That was, that was totally. A little, little late celebration. Yeah. So it's Corey Nelson back on the serve for the Indians. Jenna Roar gets it up for a nice smackdown by Kiwani. Mishkat gets it up and a nice. Free ball over from Christina Moyle. 
Ooh, a nice tip over by um, Ashley Berg over here. Set it up to Portolini, and she puts that one away. Hey, even though Callie Krieger wasn't here to help you out tonight, she has stepped into some of the JV practices to help our girls out. So, Callie's been coming to some JV practices? Yep, we have a freshman setter that hasn't really... They, they just did a circle last year, so they didn't really get a chance to set the spots. So okay. Callie took the, took the role to come help. help our setters out. That's awesome. Well, that's part of the legacy of... Uh, Well, that senior class and just on all all the Kriegers. Yeah, the Krieger name. <laughs> yeah, well, Dawn and Dawn and Callie and, and Taylor have done so much for the Michigan community. It's great to see them celebrate a state championship just a few months ago. Sophie Smindle sends it into the net for Kiwani. Michigan stays with the serve. Christina Moyle on the serve. Sends it into the net. We got Maddie, I'm gonna have to put you on the spot here in oh uh probably between sets. We're gonna I'm gonna put you on the spot. Getting in a little bit of trouble with the boss this past oh boy. softball season. What do you mean? Yeah, he got in a you know a little bit of trouble. Oh boy. But what did I you're, do? You're digging yourself out of a hole here with this broad you know with this broadcast. So. What boss? Uh, the boss. Gary? Oh, yeah. W. Hey, no, I w shouldn't. W7 himself, Gary. I shouldn't be digging myself with the boss. Oh, uh, yeah. I had a little need for speed this summer or this softball season. No, I, I helped him out. His car was parked in the danger zone, and I offered to move it for him. Like, I don't know why I'm. Are you sure you didn't take it for a little cruise around the block I or promise. what? I promise. I promise you. I was still with my attempts, so I couldn't do it legally. <laughs> I couldn't take it for a joy ride, or else I would have. Julie Keppel on the serve, 15-13 for the Indians. Ooh, nice hit by Emily Todd over there. And miscommunication for Michicot. Yeah, I know. Moyle's been, Moyle's been killing everything over the net. I let that one, I yield to, to Moyle a little bit there if I'm Tauschik. <laughs> Tauschik's a gentle giant over there. So play with her sister. She's one of those girls that will, she's a great setter, but she just doesn't talk very much and. <laughs> oh yeah, well, Lace, Taylor. Lacey's the same way Taylor, though. Yeah. Coach Taylor in basketball for a couple years. She'll, she'll get to talking. <laughs> She's got to, or else she'll be running a ton. We got to we got to talk in Michigan. One of the many expectations for sports. Absolutely. <laughs> I know for basketball, if we didn't talk, we had to run suicides with our hands up. It's not fun. <laughs> we got a good rally going over here. Wesley tips it over. It great. Smart play by her. Mishkat calls a timeout. Timeout there for the Indians, absolutely. So we'll stay with you, but you ever think about doing this full time? I mean, I only got like 10 more <laughs> dates. You know what I mean? I mean, give up, this, give up the game nights, you know what I mean? A couple nights a week. Tuesday night, we got, uh, I think, Tuesday. Or the second, no, the second, which is next Thursday. Appleton North and Kimberly. Oh boy. Yeah, Kimberly's hosting Appleton North. Two teams out of the FEA that could contend for a gold ball yeah. this year. That's gonna be a big match. <laughs> Thursday night, next Thursday. It's not gonna be small town Thursday night. It's gonna be big time down hey. in the land of Kimberly. What's wrong with small time There's Thursday nothing night. wrong with small town <laughs> small Thursday town. night. We are just trying to spread the love up here in the northern the Northern uh, Broadcast District, the W7. We'll be back later in the year. I think Manitowoc Lutheran match. 
Delaney serves it over. Mishkat gives it back, and now Tauschek mm, thought she was going to give it back to Kiwani, and just hits the net. A little behind on the scoreboard there. So 2013 now is the score in favor of Kiwani, and they are on the serve, and it's Mackenzie Allers. Kylie Sand had a nice rollover. Kiwani Emily Todd had a nice hit over back to Michicot. Todd had a hard set to <laughs> hard set to play with and tried tipping in, tipped it right into the the net. For being an away game, Kiwani really brought a pretty decent sized student section along with them. Indeed they did, but I tell you what, I think part of that is just being able to get back into the gym and support your classmates. Yeah. You know, they missed it last year. Not able to do it a whole lot. That's true. Uh, volleyball played in the alternative season there that, that got squeezed in between the end of basketball and the beginning of softball. Yeah, it's tough. Uh, others, what they say it was number one? Yep. I don't see her out there, so. Oh, there she is, yep, she uh, whistled for being into the net. Serve back to the Indians. Wesley tries to back line. Just out of bounds. Just out of bounds. Mishkat's starting to dig their way out of a hole. This is about where it was last time. I think it was 18 to 13 when Mishkat made their run, eventually winning 25-21. Sophie Smindle sends it into the net for Kiwani. Serve goes back to Mishkat. So this one was at 21-14. And here comes Mishkat, 21-7, 21-18. Tony Bordellini sets it right over the net for Lacey Toshek to just get her hand and smack it right back down at him. That's one thing I've noticed Lacey make the adjustment over the, over the years. Normally she would just tip that back over. Now she's looking to punish. Nice pass there out of the back row. There she goes again. Kiwani's able to recover it. Uh, they did the same for us. Josie Wood just passed it over the net, and I didn't catch. I yeah, think it's it was gonna be lit. It's gonna be Tauschik into the into the net, or under should say under the net, crossing that center line. So that will stop the bleeding a little bit for Kiwani. They're back on serve, 22-18. Number seven, Ashley Berg, calls for a last minute lineup check. They had the wrong server on the line. We have Brooke Chevalier serving for the Storm. As of right now, they are still trying to figure things out, so. Senior, three sport athlete, volleyball, basketball, and track and field. And they were out of line, yeah. so the point goes back to Michicot. That'd be a point or a serve back to Michigan. The point goes to Michigan and they get the serve along with it. So we should have 21-19 then, correct? Um, that's how it should be. <laughs> and the Michigan got whistled for being under the yep, net. Yep, point just went up. Yep, there we go. Ruff was talking to the table, so. Now they so Kiwani retains out. the point for Taushik being under the net across the center line. No, the Kiwani, oh, yes, but. But they, but they lose the serve and a point back to Michigan. Yeah. Okay, so 22-19 after being out of rotation for the Storm. Yeah. 
They have a good rally going as of right now. Christina Moyle takes a swing and Kiwani is able to recover it. Bornellini takes a swing and it's out of bounds. Great <laughs> read there. Was that Benin, yeah, on the, Benin on the back line? They're calling a tip. Ooh. Yikes. Wow, they're saying it was Kaylee Hellenic tipping that one. I don't think so. Yeah. Anyway, I as didn't it see stands, her hands go up, but 23-19. Okay. Wesley now on the serve. Julie Keppel free balls it right back into the corner. Right on the line. Kylie Sand checks in for the Indians. Cora Nelson checks in for the Indians. So 23-20. Can the storm hold on? Yeah, Mishkot's really crawling out of there. Cora Nelson, the instant impact from the softball season. Moiley takes a whack at it. <laughs> That's one of our many nicknames for her. Takes a whack at it right down the line. Jenna Rohrer just missed it. Ooh. <laughs> Timeout Kiwani, we will keep it here. 23-21, we talked about a game of runs, Maddie. Yeah. Now Mishikot back into this one. They trail 21-14. Got on serve with a couple blocks and now sit just 23-21 and it is Cora Nelson will have the serve when we come back to live play. Importance of a third set match, Maddie. After you've split your first two, the importance of winning that third one and taking a two set to one lead into that deciding fourth set. You need it just for the confidence. So you you don't have something to prove. Like, well, obviously you still have something to prove, but that, that little cushion you have, it, we just need it. <laughs> right. Getting a little distracted it's, there. It's I mean, important. I think Mishikot's uh, loose. Uh, Christina Moyle and Katie Keppel looking over our way, giving us a wave. Julie Keppel. Julie Keppel. <laughs> Katie's her older sister, yeah. Ooh, Julie Keppel just sends it out of bounds, which gives the game point to Kiwani. Natalie Stangles checks in for the storm, and she is serving. Oh, boy. For the game. Excellent serve received there by the Indians. Bornellini rolls it over to Mishikot. And Back Sand. set to Sand into the net though. Yikes. Good way to recover for Kiwani though. They, they let him creep back into it too, a little too much, probably for Kelsey's liking, but they pulled it out in the end. Yeah, so the third set goes 20, 25, 21, 21 in favor of Kiwani. They now take a two set to one lead here on opening night in the Cots. <laughs> you are watching W7 Live and we have the seniors from softball setting us to commercial. If you
All right, we are all set, ready to go here for set number four. It was Kiwani, 25-20, set number one. 25-21 and set number two went to Mishikot. Kiwani took the pivotal third set, 25-21. So they have a two set to one lead here as we head into the fourth set in Mishikot. We got Josie Wood on the, Wood on the serve for Mishikot. And Bordellini had a nice hit over the net. Caleb Lignac returns it back to Kiwani. Bordellini tips it over and just hits that line. <laughs> Nothing we can do about enough. Nope. <laughs> that was a kind of a pivotal point, though. Yeah. We got the true. boss man, Gary, checking in. Said he looked at the replay and didn't look like it was tipped. For Kaylee Lignac? Or? Yeah, for yeah. Lignac, yeah. Uh, but hey, that's all right. I mean, it was kind of pivotal at that time. Number yes, seven, jo Berg on the serve. Christina, Wood, or Christina Moyle passes it into the net, and Josie Wood had a nice punch over the net for Michigan. Maddie, help, help me out on this one. How, how do you, like, when you talk to Christina, do you call her Christina? Her nickname is Tina, but if she had a name change, it would go to Hazel. So, like, what, like... I've never even heard of that. Yeah, like, so, <laughs> you got, like, three names. Like, what do you what do you call well, her? I call her Tina. All right. But <laughs> during the softball season, Miss, our coach, Miss Maurer, thought her last name was Moily, so a bunch of people call her Moily, too. Oh, so. and now we got Moily as another yeah. nickname. She, I don't think she likes that one very much, but <laughs> <laughs> definitely gets used. We, and now you can use Hazel. Yeah. <laughs> we had Ashley Berg on the serve for Kiwani. Still serving. She started out on the serve. She has a six. Kiwani has a six-run lead right now. Just served it. There in you the go. Night. The announcer's jinx. So much like the last two, Michigan falls behind early. And they will look to dig themselves out of a hole. Ashlyn Benning on the serve. Michigan hands it over to Christina Moyle for that nice hit to the libero. Sophie Smindle for Kiwani. Kiwani is really playing small ball right here, right now. They're tipping it to where we aren't. Doing a good job. Emily Todd for the serve for Kiwani. Toddy too hottie. <laughs> Each of the last two sets, she went on a little five run string, six run string, and that could be the start of one right there. One for her. Her forever meal, or her one meal forever, is cereal. I don't, I wonder what, what kind what, of cereal. I, I'm wondering too. <laughs> what are you going with if you had to go with cereal? Um, Crave. It tastes like a candy bar. It's, it's really good. What would you go with? Crave? Uh, I'm, I'm going with. Don't tell me you're a Fruity Pebbles guy. Oh, oh come on. <laughs> no, I'm not going with the Fruity Pebble, Pebbles. <laughs> I'm not going to say it now. <laughs> Are you Golden Grams or something like that? Well, that will stop the bleeding a little bit for the Indians as they get that point. No, I'm going with Captain Crunch. Oh, that, that's a good with, one. I'm going with Captain Crunch. That's a good one. With the berries or without the berries? No, I'm going the original Captain Crunch. Oh, I don't know about that. The berries are good. <laughs> Kiwani sets up Bordellini for a block by the Indians. Ashlyn Bennett will, ooh, nope, I'm mistaken. Courtney Wood with the serve. Can to give a shout out to Emily Todd. We sent the questionnaire out, sent it out to both coaches at the same time, and uh, she was the first one to respond. I mean, almost within probably about five minutes. So, but credit to both both coach, head coaches, uh, Kelsey, I keep wanting to say Stangle, but it's Stangle Wilford, Wilford. now. 
three years on the anniversary, I believe, yesterday they've been married. Yeah, a couple of days ago. Uh, I saw it on Facebook. Might have been Saturday or something, yeah. yeah. Nice little, little tip rally going on. Oh, and Mishika lets it drop right in between two girls. Whew. Well, yeah, but excellent uh, thanks to Kelsey and Chrissy from Mich uh, Chrissy from Mishika, Kelsey from Kiwani. Getting that information out to their players and the players for filling it out. A ton of help. Mishka calls a timeout, I believe. They call a timeout, 12 to three. The Indians trail here in the fourth set. They are also down two sets to one. So it is backs against the wall time here for the Indians. You have to mount a pretty sizable comeback here in this fourth set. Uh, I wish we had that camera on the student section over yeah. there for Kiwani. <laughs> they went, uh, they went bowling, and it was a strike. Credit to a new AD, Justin <laughs> Gerlach. Is it Gerlach? Gerlach. Gerlach. Um, yeah. Giving us permission to get out here today, and he's over there corralling the Kiwani students. <laughs> Letting them be uh, boisterous and, and do their thing, which is awesome. I got to say, Kiwani student section is doing a lot better than Michigan's right now. I haven't heard anything out of See if I can't Michigan. spy on him here if the camera will spin around far enough over there. There we go. Now we are, <laughs> we are deep in the Kiwani student section. Oh, they're pointing them out. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. So... Ooh, nice block by Kiwani. Julie Keppel takes a swing. Punch over by Kylie Getke for Kiwani. Julie Keppel tip puts by it Keppel. right in the donut. They're all <laughs> looking at you. There we go. We got there Kiwani on the go. fan cam. Woo. They're enjoying everything over there. <laughs> oh, oh, now they're touching their, your camera. Cora Nelson on the serve for Mishikat. Bordellini <laughs> sends it over. Hey, had him on, on the, they're like, who's moving the camera? And then they finally found us over here. Getting a Get little back fame to it. 12 4. Boyle takes a swing at it. A little distracted by the student section, but hey, much love to them showing up and showing out today. Kiwani was in the net. Don't know exactly who, but someone was. Good rally for both teams. Nice back set. It's a lift by Brought Kiwani, in. number 13, Kylie Getke over there. Corin Nelson serving some points back for Michigan. Out of bounds. Jetta Orr had a nice save, and um, number seven, Ashley Berg, tried tipping it in and just went out of bounds. Ashley Burke, I was going to say, Ashley Burke pretty, looks pretty young, and she is a sophomore. One of, that's kind of how we are. I believe that their other setter is a, a senior. Yep, Natalie, yep, Natalie Stangle's a senior, and then their other setter is a sophomore. That's how Mishkat's set up, too. Natalie Stangle sends a dig into the net, and Ashley Berg was not able to recover it. Well, like Coach Wilford talked about, their passing is going to be the key for them today, or for them today, and all season, obviously. 
And when they've given up their points and Mishicot's gotten their runs going. Christina it, Moyle serving for Mishicot. It's been Kiwani struggling in that passing game. Sophie Smindle had a hand on one of the hits and Jenna Rohr wasn't able to get there in time to try and recover it. Christina Moyle on the serve. A lift by Mackenzie, number one. Mishkat's making their way back. Oh, some questioning by Kelsey Wilfert. I find it kind of funny, Kylie Getke, her first concert was Hannah Montana, or Miley Cyrus is her real name. That's, a, that's an oldie. <laughs> Christina Moyle on the serve. Sets up Bordellini. Nice rollover for Michicot. Kylie Sand takes a swing. Kiwani was able to recover Mishikat's block on them. Great move. Bordellini had a nice tip to the center spot. The serve will be back in their favor now. Todd steps in for war over here for Kiwani. We got Bordellini on the serve. Nice roll to an empty hole. Christina Moyle into the net from back row. Bordellini still on the serve. Ah, Mishkat's in the net. Serve stays with Kiwani. Kylie Sam finds a hole for Mishikot. Serve goes back to the Indians. 16 to 11, Mishikot is down. Julie Keppel on the serve. All right, he's catching up. Bordellini gets set up and is out of bounds. Oh, Julie Keppel serves it into the net for the Indians. Serve goes back to Kiwani. Tip over by Bennon. Kayla Linyak's doing a great job blocking over for the Indians. Todd's hit went right between Sand and Linyak's hands there. Found a hole for the Indians. Kiwani serves it out of bounds. Serve goes back to Mishikot. Tauschek steps in and Josie Wood steps in. Serve goes up and over. Mishkat has switched up their ways a little bit. Tauschek is now hitting weak side and Linyak is hitting middle. Wasn't what I was expecting. Mishkat was in the net. Oh, nope, Kiwani was in the net. 
The point would have gone to Kiwani for an out of bounds hit, but Kiwani was in the net. Josie Wood on the serve. Mishkot had a great by a block by Lacey Tauschek and Kayla Liniak over there. Gets the point for them. Josie Wood still serving. That was amazing. Number nine, Alyssa Wesley tips it over right to where the libero wasn't for Michicot. Ashley Berg on the serve. Nothing like little technical difficulties down the stretch, Maddie, but hey, <laughs> we gotta figure it out. That's good. You did a great job. Hold us here. Kylie Getke rolls it into the net. Serve goes back to Michicot. Ashlyn Bennon serving for them, for the Indians. Serves it out of bounds. She's got one heck of a pitcher arm right there. Keeps hitting them out of bounds there. We got Emily Todd serving for Kiwani. We got Liniak back to hitting outside and Tauschek hitting middle. Set up Christina Moyle and it's blocked. Great block by Kylie Getke. I don't know who else was in there with her. I believe it was Alyssa Wesley, but I'm not positive. Timeout by the Indians. They're losing 16 to 21. Well, 21-16 here in the fourth set. Michigan's gonna have to make a heck of a run. They have done it in the last two sets. Uh, they came back and won 25-21, but they fell in that third set. 20, they fell in the third set, 25-21. Trail five points here. You don't win it or lose it in the first couple points, but when you jump out to a six-nothing lead, uh, and now. Or I should say, if you're Michigan, you jump, you fall behind six nothing to begin two of the last three sets. This is uh, this is the holy kind of dog. Serve out of bounds for Emily Todd. Jenna Rohr steps in for her. Kayla Liniak with the serve. Inbounds, that was a great serve by her. Just hit the line. 21-18 here in the fourth set. I know she's played some travel volleyball in the past. Really got that jump serve down for her. So it'll be timeout, Kiwani. They will just look to calm things down, regroup. Coach Wilford would say, hey, let's do what got us here. Let's communicate. Pass the ball. Relax a little bit. <laughs> They're probably so tensed up right now. Maddie, we are going to have to, if Kiwani pulls this one out here, wins, in four, get, wins the next four points, we're going to have to have a player of the game. We're going to oh have boy. to pick one out. I have a couple kids in mind. Um, this is the first thing we've ever done with Kiwani, be it softball, volleyball, basketball. So maybe we do, I mean, we'll pick one kid to kind of focus on, but potentially, you know, maybe we get the whole team over here. We'll see what Coach Wilford wants to do. See if they want to get on the, get, get on the road and get back home. Although it's not a school night. That is true. They're not that far from us. I don't know, 21-18, Michigan trails. But on the serve. Okay, let me serves it out of bounds. So great timeout there by Coach Wilfer. Calls the timeout. And gets the ensuing 
Miss serve. Alyssa Wesley on the serve for Kiwani. Boyle hit it, got blocked, and it ended up on Kiwani's side. So the serve goes back to Michicot. Kat Elise Sand and Cora Nelson back in the game. Cora Nelson serving. Jenna Moore shanks it off the tip from Alyssa Wesley. Mishkat stays with the serve. You're gonna try to climb back into it here. Cora Nelson. Little bit of a sidewinder. Another shank. 22-21. Kylie Getke served or shanked it right into Tony Bordellini over here. Ashley Berg tries sending it over for the for the storm over here, but just there, wasn't able to. There we are, all knotted up at 22 in this pivotal fourth set. Michigan in a must-win situation after dropping two out of the first three. Michigan must win this one here to push it to a fifth and final deciding set. And that would be one heck of a way to open up. <laughs> That'd be amazing. The 2021 volleyball season with a five set classic. It's so weird seeing Kelsey on the other side of coaching. It most certainly is. She's much calmer in volleyball and on the sideline than, uh, that is than very, she was in very practice true. with basketball. Very true. Corey Nelson serving for Michigan. Sets up Bordellini. Ashlyn Benton is able to get it up, and Kylie Sand takes a whack out of bounds. That one ends up at the end of the bench. Forgot to switch the camera over, but as you saw, it was at the end of the bench down there by Rich. Natalie Stangle serving for the storm. Kylie Sand takes another whack at it. Kiwani tips it out of bounds. That was a, to me, that's a pivotal point of this match right here. I shouldn't say match of this set. It's crazy. If Kiwani gets that one down, it's obviously game point to them, game and match point to them. Christina Moyle serves it short to Kiwani. They're able to get it up. Julie Kevel tips it into the donut. Let's go. Game point for Michicot here. Christina Moyle serving. Here we go. Out of bounds. I was gonna say the good thing for Kiwani there was that Moyle was serving. So she's not on that front line sending them home. Yeah, that is very true. And a uh, little Little extra power there, adrenaline running through. Sends that one long. Pretty sure this is Bordellini serving for Kiwani. Yes, it is. Good thing is, in volleyball, you have to win by two. That should double, that was a double. Um, Natalie Stangle goes up to try and set the outside over there and doubles it, doubles the set. We got Linyak back in the game for Mishika and Julie Keppel serving. Ashlyn Benin, free balls are over, back to Kiwani. They set up Emily Todd <laughs> over there and she pounds it. Toddy too hotty. <laughs> And the top of the lineup, Mackenzie Ullers with the serve, chance to win it. Oh, win by two. And 
she gets the point. Next point, they win. Oh boy. And here we are, match point for Allers and her Lady Storm. Who are they gonna set up is my question. Sand on the, on the set up. Allers on Free the back ball line. Free over, back to Mishikot. Little miscommunication. <gasps> oh jeez. Oh, geez. <laughs> A lot of miscommunication there. Yeah. And Mishikot loses it. And that will do it. 27, 25, Kiwani. So they take the first set, 25-20. Mishikot wins the second, 25-21. But it's Kiwani taking the final two, 25-21 and 27-25. Kiwani takes the match tonight. Is a Three great sets game to by one. Teams. Great opening night of volleyball. Maddie, you absolutely killed it. I don't know what we got to do to get you out of volleyball practice <laughs> and your games the rest of the year and on the road. But you let us know what we got to do and we'll work on it. <laughs> okay. We are going to break the live stream and we will come back and hopefully get a player of the game from Kiwani. Uh, they ran off to the locker room. But. Great opening night for us. Coming up on the 31st, it's gonna be Michelle Wenzel and Gary Whipperman on the call from Brookfield Central as they host the winners of the homeschool contest this year, the Germantown Warhawks. And GTV will take make its inaugural debut. You've been listening to the fantastic play-by-play -play from Maddie Tingerthal. I'm Connor Boyce. You've been watching W7 Live. Everything we do, 100% free, 100% live, and always for the girls.